what got on Guam people dems. Um, so this is a bit of a random one actually. I don't know if this is actually what I was meaning to react to, but I did see something flash up. Um, maybe like a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, for Tamar, Tamar Braxton, and she. I'm sure it was the Essence Awards that she was performing at. I'm sure it was that. So it definitely isn't this. But anyway, um, this is a song, though, that I still haven't heard. Um, so actually, perfect fun to react to. Um, and it's her and Eric Benet. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, I think she has got such an incredible voice. I know that there's like... A lot of stuff that kind of surrounds Tamar. <laughs> um, but, you know, she is... The, the bits that I've seen of her on the internet, she is funny. I think she has got jokes and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I think there's obviously a lot of other stuff that kind of surrounds her. But just in terms of the vocal talent, um, I think she can blow my man. Like, um, I told him never lie. Like, when that one where she's singing about someone being a heifer. Um, like, it's such a tune, it's such a tune, like, her vocals are just incredible, um, in my opinion. So, I'd be intrigued to know, because of how this even came about, I don't think anyone else is like this yet, but I kind of just feel that, like, all Hollywood people just know each other, like, but they don't. So, it was like, have they had, like, a, an, like, a singing history before? Like, have, have you ever done anything with the Braxtons, or, um... I don't know, just when I saw that flash up, I was like, oh, that's random. Um, but yeah, let's let's tune in and let's see what this song is saying. Something we can make love to. This is going to be some R and B. Some real R and B. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, I catch you, baby.
got me all Ladies sweating. And and Mr. Eric help, help me get this off, because this woman got me schwitzing. <laughs> Dude. This is why I love live music, you know. This is why I love live music. I feel like this is when you see someone's like superpowers. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that it doesn't take a lot of skill and and prowess to be in a studio and lay down a track and you know do all your BVs and all that kind of stuff. But there is something that I, I just that just gets me off by seeing people that are like literally on stage with a microphone in the hand. And just laying down vocals, particularly like if you're duetting with someone and that duet can make you feel certain. Like, you know, I didn't, I've not seen Eric Benet for a really long time. It is not, it, you know, some of his music obviously got in my playlist and stuff, but he's not someone that like I follow on a regular. So, you know, to know that he is still, he's a, he's a guy that was married to Halle Berry, right? Um, to know he's still out here singing like and singing as well like he's seen some four beautiful falsettos um and has got that kind of i don't know it feels like uh, it just feels like home listening to him like i don't know it's hard to explain like his tone is so like I'd say of that era, like not in like a like a oh it sounds old way, just in like a very like this is this is R and B, do you know what I mean? Like he's got that tone, um, and it marries so well with uh, Tamar's. Like when she came in, it was so nice that he just had his verse and then she had hers and then they came in together. Like I really liked how that fusion went. There was one bit when she was singing, um. And I did feel like there was there was too many words in the verse or something. I don't know, um, but again, as a slow jam, and performing that live as a slow jam as well, like dude, that was that was a vibe. That was really 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 good. Like I loved when they split up and did the harmony. Um, I loved that their falsettos are kind of like complimenting each other and stuff. Um, I didn't feel like anyone was like trying to out, which maybe you don't necessarily get that as much when it's like a male and a female vocalist, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I just feel like it, it just really complemented each other really well. And it's a nice song as well. Um, I can't say that it's one that like, is gonna be imprinted in my brain, if that makes sense. Like I don't feel like it's a, it didn't feel like a, oh my God, this groundbreaking tune that like, and. You know, I guess that's okay. It doesn't have to be. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just nice to hear a song like that sung that well with a vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think that's 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 enough for me. But they absolutely smashed the vocals on that. Absolutely smashed the vocals, the two of them. Um, so, is this was this like his concert or something? Because obviously there was another video for him. Um, so was this him in Hollywood, or what? What was this event? But yeah, anyway, I'd love to know what you guys thought of this. Um, how do you rate the performance versus the tune? Have they performed it again like since this point? Um, yeah, just love to know what your thoughts are. So if you did enjoy this, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Thank you very much. And if you do want access to my reactions before they come to YouTube, because everything is literally on Patreon, um, then do head over to my Patreon, um, which is a great way to help support the channel. And you get to access to, let's say, more of my content and more access to me. What's not to love? <laughs> well, for now, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs> Thank you.